Alright, what's up party people? Back again. Um this time I'm ready to go. I just ate something great. And we'll go from there. We left Pearl. Now it's on the auto config. Or auto conf. Okay. So what we did was make make install. We had nothing else to do for Pearl, right? I should have checked that before I left. Make make install, that's it. Okay. So on to section 6.38. Let's say clear. And we're gonna go back up and remove Pearl. Wow, that's a big SBU. I didn't know auto config was that big. Tor XVF um auto conf. Alright, <clears throat> the check is what takes up all the time, okay? So we won't be running that, so we can probably approximate about, I don't know, 0.1 SBUs. CD into autoconf. Autoconf. And I'm never prepared. Let's get comfortable. And we're here in autoconf, and we have to say configure. Prefix equals user. Okay. Control A, Control Tab. I gotta say we can say make skip over to check and make install. So make and make install. Good. All right. So according to the test here, it takes about 4.7 SBUs. So. I don't understand that. 4.7 SBUs. Total package is 4.5. But it takes about 4.7 SBUs. I don't know. It doesn't matter because we're done. So let's go out. We're going to say remove auto conf. And let's tar XVF auto make. CD auto make. Clear. Control A, Control Tab, and we say dot run configure prefix equals user doctor equals user share doc auto make dash one point one three point one. Okay. Good deal. <coughs> My typing is better because I just had some crazy concoction of macaroni and hamburger. And let's say make. Let's can we skip over thirty SBUs? Wow. 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 Look at that. Auto make less than. One, it's a 0.1 SBUs. It's 34.1 SBUs with tests. So unless you're a dev, don't even worry about that. Make, make install. Make install. Okay. But yeah, I had some macaroni, some crazy. Look at that. Bang, done. <laughs> it's 30 SBUs for me would be 150 minutes. Man, that's a long time. For not needing to be. Had some crazy macaroni stuff. It's pretty awesome. Got some electrolytes back in me. Alright. So, I'll be able to spell simple words like configure. And we're good to go. Although I'm getting a little tired now because of it. Tar XVF. Diff Utils. Section 6.40. Diff utils. Diff utils. Okay. And first we have to throw a sed. Say sed IE. Uh, why the E? There's only one thing here. Gets is a. Let's say D. Lib. STDIO dot 
in.h okay dot run configure prefix is equal or prefix equals user okay and we can say make make install on this one <coughs> yeah I got all that good food in my belly now and my eyeballs are like oh, I'm sitting down But I can see now. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't have enough. <laughs> you don't have any energy or something. Eyeballs shut down first. But you don't have to worry about me falling asleep. I want to get this done so I can use it. Like I said before, I try not, and not that I try not to, but I don't have a working LFS until I make the video. And so it's like on some different, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like, we're doing this together. That's why sometimes you get to I get a little excited about when I pass test and whatnot like that, because I'm like, yes, I'm getting <laughs> one step closer to actually using my LFS that I've been, <laughs> I've been building for like a week and a half now straight. Kid you not, it's been at least. Uh, Control A, Control Tab. Control A, Control Tab. Diff utils can be removed. Let's go to Gawk. I've installed this, you figure, at least once every day for the last week. So seven plus installs. You know? And I haven't even looked at it. Just made sure. Remove diff. Just made sure that I could do it, run it and say count the errors if I had any and um, see how I was just going to make the next video so it's kind of nice though because it kind of puts me in a position to uh, one get it done and two um, it, it, it more like forces me live E X E C dir equals user lib. Okay. Good. If I want to use the LFS that bad, and which I really do, it kind of forced me to be uh, to hurry up, and um, so I can begin to use it because I have a lot of plans for it and everything else. So it's a good thing I don't have an LFS without making a um, video about it first. Uh, we'll say make, make install, make and make install. And I feel like I'm cheating too, you know? So I'd rather not do that. I feel like, uh, you know, there's not that much, there's not any help out there to build this, okay? The videos that, that are up, as far as I googled, there's probably say seven or not even that many seven video or seven different people or whatever like that but they all stop they all stop and it's like oof you know it's kind of a pain in the butt especially when you're trying to build learn or anything else like that the videos are incomplete so you know I kind of feel bad if I, if I get ahead a little bit and I would like to share this with other people because this is great. This is not like Gen 2. I don't know about Arch, but I've never done Arch. But this is not like Arch. Alright? This is nothing like those at all. You know what I mean? I did Gen 2 and I was ticked off because I was like, now what? You know, I thought I was going to learn a little bit more. I learned how to download. You know, and it's got its purposes. I learned a little bit. But compared to this, there's no chance. No way. Make directory for both user share uh, doc say gawk dash 4.0.2. Okay. Copy for both doc awk for. AI dot txt 
common. Oh, dot EPS PDF JPEG. Pop out of all that and say user share doc gawk. <coughs> okay, copy verbose doc encapsulate awk for AI dot txt and we want to say um, copy all dot eps pdf and jpegs to user share dot gawk good okay so we got gawk geok pwcat what is pwcat Bumps the passwords to database. Oh, okay. PG Oak. Profiling version of Oak. Ah. Nice. Okay, so. Gawk is done. I think. Control, actual tab. Always paste the check. Always paste the check. Good. Control, actual tab. And we're gonna remove G Oak now. And let's say tar xvf find utils. cd into find utils. Control A, control tab. Alright. And we'll say dot run configure prefix equals user new line lib exec dir equals user lib find utils new line I'm gonna say local state dir equals var lib locate mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. exec dir okay who would have known huh Let's see how good my type was on that one who would have known you know if you ever get a little sloppy on your type and you can't spell right, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> Who would have ever known? Food is good for you. So. Like I said, my batteries are dying. I'm getting a little sleepy. So I have to drink more high test coffee. Keep me going. We're not really that far off. Not far off at all. Make, make install, and find utils will be done. But it's good to actually get this done over in and out. I hate when that happens. Here we go. Bull crap. say make and make install sometimes I forget which window I'm in and I could type clear like say I was just up there on links I type clear and there's switches or something in links that do something but it always ends up changing stuff so <coughs> it may happen to you too if you're speeding around so make sure to uh kind of look at where your, your number placement is or where your section numbers are that way if you do get lost or get off you can uh, get back to it kind of sort of that's a pain in the butt and done so I'm going to say clear find utils and we'll say move user bin find user bin find to bin and let's say said i replace find stop equals dollar sign encapsulate bin dir with find stop equals escape forward slash bin Okay, and user bin 
update db alright so said I replace find find stop equals dollar sign binder capsule binder good with find stop equals escape for slash bin okay good and is that the end? That is the end of Find Utils. What else is in Find Utils? Code. It's formerly used to process locate databases. Ancestor of a FAR code. Uh, old Find. Older versions of Find. Using a different algorithm. XORs. <coughs> and the XORs are part of Find Utils. Can be used to apply. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So let's say move fine tar xpf flex okay flex package contains a utility for generating programs that recognize patterns in text okay you can tell I'm reading better too how about that huh who would have known <laughs> who would have known food actually makes you operate better. That's great. Okay, apply that patch. Control A, Control Tab. Control A, Control Tab. Go to say configure prefix equals user new line doc dir equals user share doc flex dash 2.5.37. Configure prefix equals user, doc that equals user, share, doc flex 2.5.37. And make, make install. SPU time on this is 0.5 SPUs. I don't know why it says 0.5 SPUs and the total SPU time is 0.4. I don't understand that. Something new. So let's say. Uh, Say make make install I think yes make and make install good deal good deal moving right along it is 4:24 p.m. very long time it's about time now hey I can't count the uh, up time can't count my packages anymore, so <laughs> might as well count my up time. 16 hours. Check that out. Awesome deal. 16 hour build. No sleep. Uh, I'm lying to you. I think I took a half hour nap. But, I don't know. Let me exit this window. Okay, make, make install. Let's say now make make install there's package for that. For that, create a sim link account for this. So let's say clear. Make make install is done. We need to link symbolic and propose lib fl dot a to user lib uh, lb dot or lbl lbl dot a. Let's check it lib fl.a yep to user lib lbl.a good okay when you say cat into user bin lex eof I want to say bin bash or bin sh Say begin. Let's see. No. Let's say begin user bin lex. Okay. Exec user bin flex dash l. I think. Let me check it. That is an l. Okay. And encapsulate dollar sign at. 
and then let's say end user bin lex. Okay. Flex L. Okay, good. EOF. Joy tab. And we'll say change mod. Change mod. Propose 755. User bin lex. Good deal. Flex. Flex. And lex. Are our installed packages. Okay. Alright. So let's say get back up here and remove lex or flex. Tar XVF. Get text. CD into CD into get text. CD get text. I think we actually have the CD into tools also. So no, we don't. So CD into get text. Two point three SBUs. Um, we're gonna say configure. Prefix equals user doc dir is going to equal user share doc get text dash o point one eight point two run that so see the SBU takes around three SBUs to run that test it's only a two point three SBU I don't get it. Calculators off. You know it's like the fourth one in a row. <laughs> but the LFS book is sacred, so I will not double guess the LFS book. Every time I do, I fail. Okay. So I'm just saying. Except when I have to. But even when I have to, I still blame myself and not the LFS book. But you know that's four times in a row. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh... Hey, we can save three SBUs by not running this test. Because... If... I don't know... I don't know what what time we'd be in if we ran the test it's three SBUs and I don't hey I don't know beats me I could be reading it wrong user error always user error it's my fault <laughs> well anyway get text I said I wasn't going to count packages but come on man for real we gotta do this you kidding me gotta go see what's going on 6.44 let's go look let's go count Let's get this over with. Get text, get text, get text. Okay, so I get text now. We'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Not as bad as I thought. I was about to scream if we hit about 20, but we didn't. Um, at least here we get half a screen. Actually, we have to go about almost a whole screen here and about three quarters of a screen there okay so could be worse I'm still wishing like I uh, didn't look or count so you know but we're getting there we're getting there quite a few packages left but it's better than we were stay positive <laughs> drink some more coffee <laughs> we're almost there I wasn't too off though on um the uptime. You know, so I haven't shut down my computer. I haven't really taken a nap except for maybe like a half hour little breezer. And 16 hours, so it's 16 hours straight of build time for my machine. Um, that's a long time. This is one of the longest LFSs I've done, I think. You know? And um, I, it takes no, enc I don't have any encoding time on my videos. It's all on the fly, so 
it's pretty long. Pretty long. And um, I wanted to say in the beginning of the tutorial that it's an 18 hour build. I really didn't want to put off anybody by saying that. And I kind of double guessed my accuracy about it. But uh, it is about an 18 hour build. So we did that. And now let's say make and make install. Make it make install. Pretty long, pretty long. And we really don't have too much different, too many different things compared to 6.8. Uh, 6.2 is a lot of differences, but we don't have too many, too many things that are too different. I really don't remember how long the the 6.8 was, I think that was more like a 14, 16 hours. I'm not sure. This is definitely longer. Well, it seems like it's longer. I don't know. Control A, Control Tab. We'll say, Get Text. Get Text gives us stuff like, uh, I don't recognize any of this stuff. Post name. Yeah, I recognize that, but msg config uh, msg fmt alright, I don't recognize any of that not from good text config that chore set all those programs mm. the get text package contains utilities for ok, I already read that did I? none of these programs blah 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 I think we already installed this before, but just pieces of it. Okay, so let's say get text is down there. Do we have another one up here? I think we installed it as soon as we came in. No, we didn't. No, we did not. I don't think we did. Nope. We didn't. Okay. You notice too with this book here, uh, a lot of them are out of order. Not out of order, but out of alphabetical order. Um, in the other LFSs, it seemed that we would have all our programs and packages would be all in any you know, alphabetical order. So when you start hitting around the S's and the T's, you're like, alright, so I only have a little bit more to go and I know where I'm going to be. Not so much with this. And I don't know if they do that on purpose or not, but um, it can kind of throw you off a little bit to where you are. Okay, because you say, you know, get text, and you might be on said. If you're used to building other LFSs, um, you're like, okay, so now we're, you know, we're here, and the next thing should be something else, but then you go from, like, said straight to auto configure something, and you're like, oh, my God. Then you go down all the way, say, to something in the E range, like maybe E2 FS progs, and then you keep going a little bit, and then you jump back up to BZ2 or something, you're like, oh, my God. But, I don't know if they do that because, I don't know, I don't know, I think they do do it because, um, or well for a reason I meant to say, not just because, I think they do it for a reason because uh, when I was doing a dry build, a uh, dry run, test run, I was uh, installing something, I think it was text info, I think it was, and I got errors on text info. I looked up the error, and the error said it was uh, pertaining to XE tools. Okay, so I went back. It was like four packages or something. I went back four packages, and I ran, um, I re-extracted and redid XE tools plus the rest of those other four packages I, I went back from. And by the time I got back to, I think it was text info. I think it was that. By the time I got back there, I ran the program again, and it worked. So maybe text info uh, needed those libraries from XZ to uh, run correctly. So maybe that's why they would be out of order. Because obviously XZ is above T, right? Or below T in alphabetical, but in in the in the book XZ is before T. So maybe that's why. 
I don't know. Um, maybe I should read my book. <laughs> That'd probably help me out. My sincere apologies for keeping you here on this video. Should have cut this off a long time ago. I don't know why it's taking so long. My calculator is not working. Uh, I thought we were going to gain some time, <laughs> but we're not. Make, make, install. It's taken forever. I'm trying to think of things to talk about without having to cut the video. Because I know it'll be just any minute now. It's like a gambling thing. And let's say make, make, install. We're done with that. And we can MS grep. What is MS grep? Extract all messages in translation catalog from match, blah, 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 source, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no sabi, I don't understand. It's pretty different. Pretty different. But, uh,. Preloadable lib in in until blah. a library instead. Pretty cool. I show you the libs and everything else like that in here. This is good reading. Very good reading so you learn about your, your operating system more. Not only your operating system, but this stuff is contained in all the other distros too. So you know what I mean? Most of it anyway. 98.2% of it. So, Groff. Start off on Groff on 6.45. 19. Switch 16 by 19. Some money. Do the math. Or 19. 19 over 60. I don't know what that would be. I can check, I guess. Let's say BC. My video is 20, let's call it 20, over 60. What? You gotta be kidding me. 2 grand over 60. 33 minutes. Hmm. Quit. see my memory. 89 free. That's it. Okay. And I guess they weren't lying about 2.3 SPUs, huh? Maybe SPUs aren't, I don't know. SPUs had to be counted in the build time instead up there in the other one. But without the test suite, we're only going to be, should not have been this long, but who knows. <laughs> Let's just sit here and talk. <laughs> I apologize, I could get some movie forwarding, so fast forwarding software, throw some music in behind it, but maybe I'll do that one day. But this is like, I don't know, this, this whole different tutorial, it's a whole it's a 14 hour build tutorial, I mean, 18 hours when it ends up, I mean, come on, you can't, there's no precedent for that, <laughs> what are you going to do, I mean, you can't have intro and outro music during something like this, it's too damn long, <laughs> you know, so, I could do fade ins and cutaways and everything else like that, but it's just not going to work, not going to work. It's a saga. <laughs> Screw the clips, man. But it's coming to an end now. I can feel it. I can feel it. Two, if you look at your output, and not only my output, if you look at your output, um, you see that we have we have some Python stuff in here, it looked like some Java stuff was popping up in I think DLibc or something. I'm not sure. That was a massive program right there. 
I know this is, I mean, this one right here. I mean, of course, the GLBC was a massive, <laughs> massive program too, but damn, that was big. Uh, let's say. Get text. I think we're done. I think we're done. Yes, we're done. We've been done. On the graph. So let's remove get text. Get text. Clear. Tar XVF. Gotta be serious now. Groff. No time for talking about what you just ate. Let's get down too busy. <laughs> CD in the Groff. And we're gonna say page equals letter. How did I know that? Come here. Okay. It says Groff expects the environment variable page to contain the default paper size. For users in the United States, that's what I'm going to pick. Page equals letter. Okay. That's appropriate for me. Elsewhere, page equals A4 may be suitable. Okay. While the default paper size is configured during compilation, it is to be overridden overridden later by encoding either A4 or letter to the Etsy paper size file. Mm, okay. So I'm in the US, so if you're not, then maybe you want to choose the other one, but I'm here, okay, and I want to go from there. So, control A, control A, control tab, Actual tab, okay. Let me take out this page. Let's say it right. And we're gonna say dot. Well, configure configure prefix equals user. Okay. Control A, Control Tab, and we can say make. Does not come to test suite. Uh. We can issue make, and before we run make install on this one, we have to install the documentation, I think. Control A, Control Tab. We can say make. We could have said make and string together and make dir and all that stuff like that, but. That's okay. But I didn't want to do that. So, 0.5 SBUs. 2.5 minutes. Um, I could cut the video, but here we go with another long talkie talkie. I'm going to get these in as best as I can. XZ. We'll stop after XZ. Okay? Next. So we'll say make, okay, make parent directory user share dot graph something like that and PDF. We can move that in. What does graph actually do? Where is it at? Graph package contains programs for processing and formatting text. Programs we get would be uh, EQN, EQN to graph, graph to graph to graph, and ROF. I can't say I've ever used any of these programs. Pick that I know of anyway. I probably call them up all the time, but I never use those programs by themselves. Off the text. Cool. Good deal, good deal. So there's some documentation programs. It's after we do our make uh, parent directory and make install. It says uh, some documentation so programs such as Xman will not work properly without the following symlinks. Okay. So we gotta create them next after that. 
that will work. Work out just fine. TBL. I don't know what the TBL is about. Here it comes. I got the feeling. I see the end. <laughs> I see the end of the rainbow, man. Oh, man. Here it comes. I promise. Drink some coffee. Alright, let's go count. So we got Groff. Oh, man. What do we have? 16 before? 18, right? Oh, man. I don't want to count. This is, this is what's bad about peaking. You cannot peak. Just ruin it all. Good God. Let's count anyway. Alright, so we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We only did 2. That's crazy. But we're under 20. So, it's not too bad. Alright, that's done. Control X, Control Tab. Clear. Say Make. And we can say make directory. Uh, I'm not going to do verbose. I should. I am going to do verbose. I want to say it, man. User share doc graph um, dash one point two two four slash PDF. Can make directory user share doc graph dash one point two two for this PDF. Okay, good. Yeah. And let's say make install. This should not take long at all. I said that before. <laughs> but it should not take long at all. I'm serious this time. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. So now we have to create a sim link. Say clear. Create a sim link. Um, symbolic for both EQN create user bin G EQN right yes and let's say G table GTBL okay I need to create a link from TBL to GTBL good Right, <coughs> Groff is done. That's over. And what is TBL? I don't know. And you know it doesn't matter. Because I just want to keep going. Say Groff. Let's remove Groff. Okay. Tar XVF. XE tools. Or XE. Not XE tools. CD into XC. Clear. Control A, Control Tab. We're going to say Control A, Control Tab. Configure. Prefix equals user. I'm going to pop a new line here. Lib dir equals forward slash lib. Doc directory is going to equal user share doc x z dash 5.0.4 configure prefix equals user libdir equals lib and doctor equals user share doc running okay good control a control tab say make and I will say make package config dir install all that stuff. Good deal. XE tools is new to me. I didn't even know about .xe extensions so I started messing with Slackware. Um but that's new. And we can it's a it's a it's a compression program. Okay. As per up here it says uh it was a I can change programs for compressing and decompressing files, like a gzip or something, or tor. Provides compatibilities for the LZMA and newer XA uh, compression formats. Compression 
text files with XE yields a better compression percentage than with traditional GZIPs or BZIP2s. Okay? So that's a better compression. I wonder how much better, like spec wise. I think you can say uh, TAR not GZIP9. That sound familiar? I think that sounds familiar. That creates like a tighter compression or something else like that. Right? Um, so if you have a file, say it's like, you know, 40 megabytes or something like that, and you can press it, it may turn into whatever, but I guess this is a better compression. So to check that out. I use it all the time, but have to check out uh, the actual compression. How, how much better is it? Config dir is going to equal user lib pkg config install. Okay, so it said uh, make package config dir equals user lib pkg or package config install. Good. XC tools. Okay. Nothing else to move? Nope. Good to go. Alright, grub. Duh. Let's get back up. We'll remove XC tools. And I will catch you in the next one. We'll pick it up on 6.47. Peace out.